Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penge and welcome back to Production Line. So last time out, a lot of the attention was on this fancy schmancy thing here, our smart junction that takes cars and it says, right, what are they doing? Is it a sedan or a sports car? Send it that way. If it's a sedan Mark II, send it the other way because I was under the impression that that was what we needed to do in order to kind of branch the conveyors off. However, <laughs> however, I have been proven incorrect about this, which is no great surprise because I'm often proved incorrect about many, many things. But my knowledge of conveyors has been shaken to its very, very core. And I have to say a big thank you to lots of people in the comments who have put me right about this. So apparently in this game, and I don't, is it how conveyors work in the real world? I don't know. But in this game, you don't need the smart junction in order for the conveyors to kind of branch off and do different things. You just branch them off. Now, this is a good example just here. So if this was going somewhere, if this actually had another conveyor bit up here and there was a slot up here that was doing something with the car, this would send cars sometimes that way and then sometimes that way. It would just split them. It would know somehow magically within its very being, within its very conveyory being, that it would need to send cars in different directions. So I went to all the effort of getting this set up, all the effort of researching this and placing it and faffing about doing this sedan Mark II nonsense, all this stuff for no reason at all, because this thing is just not required. It just isn't required at all. Now, I suppose we could keep it in now it's here, but another thing is it was quite expensive. So we could, in theory, sell the thing and then make a bit of money back, put a regular junction in, and then just you know, save ourselves the whatever we get back from that 20 grand. How much was it? If we go and have a little look, where are they? Conveyors. How much was a smart conveyor? 35 grand, even if we get 20 grand back from it. That's 20,000. That's quite a lot of money that we'd get back from that. So I'm tempted to just do that and just get rid of the fancy bit. And that also means that we can make this a bit simpler because we don't need the sedan Mark IIs and the sedans and all that kind of complicated stuff because the sedan Mark IIs are a copy of the sedans, which I suppose now I know this makes a little bit more sense because this, I thought, was a little bit of a rigmarole, having to create another car of exactly the same type in order to split it off in the smart junction. But yeah, now I know that that's, <laughs> it's, that's not really required. This bit makes more sense. So let's pause time for a second. Let's pause time. Let's go to just here. Let's change the schedule and let's not make any sedan Mark IIs. Away with you, sedan Mark IIs. So at some point, the sedan Mark IIs will all be out of the factory. They'll all just clear off and go away, and that's all fine. So we don't need to worry about those. So, and then, in, uh, do we get rid of this? Yeah, we're getting rid of this. We're going to save the money on this. So I, I really hope that what everyone told me is true, and it's not just a great big, great, big hilarious joke. <laughs> so let's get rid of that. Boom. We've got 17 and a half grand back from that. And now allegedly, if I put a conveyor in, it should then branch to the other two bits and then it should just send cars either way. Now, let's just, <laughs> let's see if everyone has been having me on or if this is going to work. So I assume the conveyor is going to go, well, there's a car, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I spent so many research points learning those smart things, smart junctions, and I didn't need to at all. But this does make things very, very interesting because now I know that I can just go, oh, right, okay, well, I'll branch off that direction and branch off that direction. I can make things a little bit better. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to make things a bit better, but I, I don't have to build smart junctions and do all sort of complicated stuff. I can just go, right, do that, we and get on with it. So now we have a plan. Right, I know what we need to do this time out, however. We need to put in the final slots. So we've got a few extra bits that we're not doing that have got their own little individual sort of slot for them. So, for example, there's fit bumpers and fit arches. Now, where is fit trunk? I know, right, it's, it's subbed that, isn't it? Fit front arch and fit rear arch. Fit front bumper and fit rear bumper. Now, this could be a problem. In fact, this is going to be a problem because that's bumpers, that's bottom trim, that's arches, and that's vent. So, bumpers need to be broken up into two. Uh, so we could, right, hang on, hang on, right, pause time for a second. We're going to take out this just here. So get rid of that. So everything will queue up over here. That is absolutely fine. Let's see that car go through there. So that's bottom trim. That's fine. Right. If we pause time, let's get rid of fit bumpers. Now, how big are the front bumper? Right. What we'll do is we'll just queue them up next to each other. So get rid of this. Boom. Gone. Uh, and then we'll have that bit there. So yeah, then we'll get rid of that and we shall have ourselves fit rear bumper. 
Now, which order does need to go in? Body shell, hood, trunk, bumpers, but front bumper first. <laughs> so we'll have front bumper, like so. Rear bumper, like so. Splendid. It's all connected. It's all fine. Right, put the conveyor back in. And then these things here, let us uh, get uh, extra robots one and two and the predictive stock control. And then the same for just here, one and two and the stock control. Okay, so that should make things better. It's connected to the sort of the stock magic sort of sky delivery thing. So that's fine. So now let's just watch. I'll have insufficient resources. That's fine for now. The resources will fly in. And I believe we are researching turbocharged overhead conveyors. So the resources are going to get there even quicker, which is fantastic. So there we go. We'll get them in. That's not actually that long. What are we on? 57% for researching that? That's great. So there we go. These things can fly through and research all that. Now, can we upgrade that as well? Oh, yeah, buy extra robots. Yeah, why, why, why are we not doing extra robots for everything? I might need to go around and invest in extra robots for all the things that we know we're not going to then be getting rid of again. So that's that done. Right, okay. Pause time. Arches. Where are arches? That is the arches bit. So let's get rid of that there. To stop them going out of the bottom trim. <laughs> Whatever that might be. I don't know. So once this car has gone through. We'll then remove this. This arches bit. Take that out. And then we'll put in uh, these two bits. So we'll fit front arch and fit rear arch. Right. So that car has gone through. Lovely. Okay. Arches. Farewell. Cheerio for now. Um, how big are they? Fit front arch. Ah good. Right. They're just like this. So we can have that exactly the same as what we did just there. So front and rear arches. And then we'll slap some upgrades on them. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. And that one. Uh, yeah. Now do one extra robots three on everything. That at the moment is a bit expensive. We won't do that right now. Uh, and then we'll do the conveyor. Put that back in. Okay. That's all connected up to the delivery thing as well. So it should be fine. Again, no resources. But that's to be expected. Bibbly bobbly boo. All the resources come in. Okay. Right. That is looking good. That's looking very good. Okay, this is encouraging. So they're in. So we've got all of that in, which is lovely. Fit body. Right, next is fit accessories. We have a new thing up here. So we've got fit dashboard, which I think is the last thing we do. And then we've got ourselves uh, fit cabin and then fit controls. I don't know what the cabin is. <laughs> is the cabin just the bit you sit in? Surely that's already fitted by virtue of it just having a shape. I don't really know. And then Fit Electronics has two bits as well. Now what we might need to do is, this was another part of the master plan, we may well need to have all that stuff going up here and then have our exit point, our sort of export zone, just here rather than down here. I think that would make more sense if we can put that just there. Right, is there anything to do with exports? What do we have? Paperwork and shipping. I mean, I feel like I should research those. I feel like I should research both those things as well. I don't know what they do, but it kind of feels important. Oh, yeah, we haven't got the marketing department in either, have we? So we could do with renting out one of these things just to get that space. Because that would up our profits. So to be fair, profits are doing pretty well. I haven't looked at this yet, have I? Right, we're over halfway. We've sold 744 cars, which is about a quarter. In fact, it's pretty much bang on a quarter, isn't it, of what we need to do. Um... So we've sold uh, 137 expensive cars, 535 mid-range cars. So these I'm not bothered about. It is this. It is just the number of cars that we are currently not <laughs> selling. That is the issue. So I think let's pause time. We need to rework some of this. So we need to change this. We change the dashboard into two bits. Then the electronics is going to change into a couple of bits. That's not all going to fit down here and give us room for all of the new chassis assembling malarkey that goes in. The axles, the undercarriage, and the fuel tank. Oh, and there's fit front axle and fit rear axle and fit drive shaft as well. So in here, there is one, two, three, four, five little sections. We'll not fit five sections in there. So I think we need to take the electronics bit out. And take the, the uh, quality check out. And take the export bit out. That might also mean we can put some more power stuff in eventually if we need it. So yeah, we need to move all those out of the way. So currently, and then we want to change the dashboard bit as well. So let's take that out. Move time on. Get all these cars through. So there's going to be a little bit of a backlog. Yep, do the electronics. Come on, get it through this. Aha, right, okay. We've got no research. 
We've got no research. Okay, how's about then? How's about we make... Uh, let's get some technologies. Let's put some stuff on the cars. Now, nobody's really got any security features. They've not got the little signs on them. Or is it because I've not unlocked security features that I don't see all these things? Let's unlock that. Let's just get that done. And then, is there anything else that's really quick? <laughs> I'd like some quick things, please. Powered seats sounds very exciting. Powered powered steering adjustment. Is that power steering? Is that what that means? Yeah, let's get that. Let's get power steering as well. So add that to the queue. So we'll have a bit of that, please. That'll be quite nice. So a couple of things being researched. We'll put those onto the cars. Rival companies have researched power steering. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Right, pause time, pause. We've got a queue. There's a queue, there's a queue, there's a queue. That car has gone out. We'd sell all of this. This feels a bit weird. Okay, right, it's all going. Goodbye exports, goodbye this, goodbye quality check, goodbye lots of these little bits. Yeah, all going. Um, electronics, gone. It's making us look very wealthy. <laughs> we're going to get to a million, but we're not going to be too far off there. So we get rid of these. And then, yeah, we need to redo this whole top bit. Like this. Right, okay. In fact, this bit goes as well, doesn't it? Because dashboard is also a new thing. So, so, let's go down here. Dashboard. So, we want fit cabin and fit controls. Because that's now what the fit dashboard does, does it? It fits cabin and fits controls. So, we want fit cabin. So, pop that into there. Yay. And then fit controls can just go straight there. I'm not so fussed about that. So, connect those up. With the conveyor, like so. So they're in. Let us spruce them up a bit. So extra robots, predictive stock control, you, extra robots. Oh, a heater and predictive stock control. Ah, is that what we've gone for one of these? <laughs> I can't remember what we've researched. But yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, airbag might be quite a useful thing as well. So they're in. I like that. That's good. And now it needs to go to electronics where we can fit electrical components which could just go just there. It doesn't need to be far away, does it, particularly? And then fit the computer could possibly go... Ooh, is that making it a bit too close? How about there? So it can start coming around the corner, like so. And then we'll spruce these up as well. So yeah, extra robots, pretty stock control, sat nav, yes. And fit computer, extra robot stock control. Okay, so they're all in. Get us more conveyors. To go down to there, then to go up to there. And then we're going to need to put quality control back in. Now, there is a lot of quality control stuff. Maybe we need to research that as well. Maybe that is something we could do with researching. Right now, though, it's not there. So let's just put that straight in just here for now. Let's just get it in. Um, is there anything we can do with that? No upgrades to that. Nothing at all. Now. That can go to there, and then we need the selling bit, we need the exporting bit to go over in our exporting area. Um, for some reason I can't turn round. Okay, does it just slot onto that? Oh, right, okay, you can't rotate it, it just slots on. Right, okay, so that can go to just there, and then we need a great big long conveyor that will come round to there. Yay, right. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's all sorts of wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not yay. No, boo. Wrong conveyor direction. You're telling me. I know. I didn't really ask you to do that. You've you've, you've made this weird choice yourself. Right, that to there. Uh, okay, right, right. Are we going to have fun with this, are we? Right. Okay, fine, fine. Let's be, let's be like that then, shall we? No, not there. <laughs> For goodness sake. <laughs> Go there. And then go up like that. Right, remove that one for now, just so this one behaves. Up there. Oh, my goodness me. Right, okay, okay, right. Do I have to, like, turn the conveyor in a direction? No. That to there. Ah. <laughs> this way. Please work. Okay. This is awkward. I might need to move that nearer. Fit steering wheel might need to move down a bit because I just don't understand this. So let's take out... Let's take that out. We'll move time on. Next slot not found. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes, of course it can't move down, can it? Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Don't go that way. Right, remove that and remove that. Ah, oh, dear. Right, you're out the way. Pause. Let's remove fit... Remove that. Remove fit steering wheel. Bump. <laughs> okay. Um, where is it? Fit engine... 
fit steering assembly, fit steering wheel can go just there. <laughs> okay. And then we can get rid of that and get rid of that and get rid of that and get, let's get rid of that one as well. <laughs> and then that can come across like that. Just snap into place for goodness sake. Yay. <laughs> right. And that to there and that to there and that to there. Why is that not wrong conveyor direction? I am not telling it it's the wrong direction. Please work. I don't understand why it's not doing it. I'm very confused. <laughs> Somebody said send help. I don't get it. Why isn't it doing it? Like that? Yay! Right, okay. <laughs> oh, splendid. Right, possibly do all this again. Extra robots, power steering, predictive stock control. Put all that stuff back in. Right, okay. Okay, and now I need to connect that up again. I'm sure that'll work absolutely flawlessly. Yay! Right, so that's in. And now I need to connect some of this stuff in but also they need the importer so let's drop a resource importer just there and then let's get some resource conveyors on the go put one to there um, one can run across like that in fact oh that wasn't exactly what i'd planned but never mind we'll put one there anyway and we'll run it across to there because why not so where everything is connected so that should be connected i would have thought Yep, okay, so all the resources are coming in. Okay, okay, right. So this should hopefully make things more efficient, <laughs> he says. Because my place was so, so inefficient before. Anything is an improvement. I think I think we can all agree on that. Um, oh, hang on. Next slot not found? What is the next slot after quality control? Export. Export's just there. What is your problem? Why have you stopped? Next slot not found. Why? Why, 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 why? Explain, explain thyself. You go on the conveyor, you go around the corner, you go around the corner, and you go to export. Okay. Have I done something foolishly, idiotically wrong just there? Yeah, they're holding the cars in quality control. Is there something that I've not done right in quality control? That's what we had down here, wasn't it? We had quality control going to export. Okay, something weird is going on here. I'm not entirely sure why. Right, that's that's just not working, is it? Quality check, waiting for next slot, 46%. I don't know why it's doing that. Waiting for the next slot. The next slot's there, isn't it? Or have I not done that right? These guys are here, and we're waiting to export the cars. It looks connected up to me, however... <laughs> Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not connected up properly or something like that. Maybe that isn't linked to that. Or something else weird is going on. Waiting for next vehicle. Current task is paperwork. Um, okay, right. Let me investigate. Why is it being strange and weird? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But um, right, I'll, I'll investigate. I'll hold the line. The conveyors go in a set direction. They've got pointy arrows. This is the fifth part of this series that I'm playing, and I didn't realise this at all. <laughs> Look, they've got arrows going that way. So I've got this going the wrong way, which probably isn't helping matters, if I'm completely honest. I didn't realise that. I just thought it was just a conveyor that just we went, yeah, that'll do, whatever. Surely the conveyors just go, they work between slots. So whichever direction you've got it going from one slot to the next is how it should work. Maybe that's why it was having a bit of a moment over there. Okay. Right, well, we can fix this. We can sort this. We can draw that to there. Uh, is that going the right way? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. And now that can go to there. Yep, that's going the right way. And that can go to there. And then that can go up there. Right, okay. Maybe that's why that was having a bit of a meltdown up there. Because it was going, what are you doing? Which direction do you want this to go in? Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Go, go, go. Go cars. Go quality checking stuff. Uh, we've researched the safety features. So I think the next thing we do is as the final bit really is get all this quality checking stuff in so where is that in here in processes where is all the additional quality checking malarkey um i don't know where it is there's a lot of manufacturing stuff going on um i want some proper quality control going on q a specialization unlocks visual inspection performance check and emissions check and that unlocks what's that um also requires unlocks upgrade at slot visual inspection. Oh, oh, an upgrade at the visual inspection slot. Oh, okay, right, that makes sense. Um, so I think add that to the queue. Oh, they're very slow, and add that to the queue as well. Add those things in. Oh, and that's a new slot. 
No, all right, take that out of the queue. Remove enhanced inspection, get that in, add that to the queue, and then enhanced inspection. Let's see if we can get all that in, and that might add some more monies to our cars. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, now this is going to take ages, isn't it? This is the problem. There's going to be a bottleneck just there. That's got defects. However, in terms of money, we've got 400 grand. The cars seem to be selling okay. Um, Sedan Mark II, yeah, we can remove this. Can we just archive this model? Away with you, Sedan Mark II. We don't need Sedan Mark IIs anymore. But what I would like to do is, I would like, ooh, power steering is red. That means probably that people have got that and we haven't got it. Uh, hang on, hang on. I'm researching power steering. Is that the thing we're researching now? Uh, no, technologies. What are we researching? We've got power, powered steering adjustment. Is that power steering? It sounds like it should be power steering. Anti-lock brakes, sensors, pressures, airbag, all this stuff. Power steering's just there. Um, fit steering wheel. Have we not got power? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's fit steering wheel? Where, where's that? Have we not got power steering on one of the upgrades? Um, yes, we have. Okay, why is that in red then? Maybe it's just incredibly common. We're including. I oh, know it's included. Maybe it just means it's incredibly common now. Maybe that's what that means. Okay, right. One thing I would like to do is... Oh, what's that? Hang on, pause. That thing again. Windows. Insufficient resources. Windows. Let's get ourselves a little stockpile. Can we just drop a stockpile in the middle just there for now? And in here, add item. Because we all seem to be running out. How about windows? And have, I don't know... 15 of them or something. I don't know what the stockpile capacity is, but that'll do. So import a load of windows in, please. So they should be able to get in. They're linked to the thing just there. Yeah, so yeah, grab a load of windows, and that'll mean that that will run out less. And one of these up here keeps running out as well. can't remember which one it is, but... I mean, they should be going quicker anyway, because we've got the super-duper speedy delivery system. But yeah, okay, there we go. That wasn't on there for very long. This is good. Right, I'm encouraged. Stuff is moving through very efficiently now. Look at this. It's flying through. Hang on. Is that doing its full thing? Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, 100% of the time. Yeah, so that's good. So 100% of the time it's doing that. Now, what I would like to do is, I think we will actually... Oh, we're going to break that down soon, aren't we? I want to make another car. Because somebody, in, in their infinite wisdom, and I completely agree with them, I completely agree, said, do you know what you're doing? You're putting every single shiny thing you research onto the cars. And yeah, it, it, it is the Geek Cupboard way. You know, we get a shiny new thing and we go, ooh, it's shiny. Quick, look at the shinies. But it's probably not the most efficient way of doing things. So I think what we can do is we can probably create a car, a cheaper car, without any of the features on. And they can just sort of be churned out as well. So we could call it the sedan cheap or something. And then not fit it with all of the features. Drop the price. People won't expect loads. And then that's fine. And we'll have lots of lovely cars that will churn out and hopefully go toward this number. 765. That just needs to be so much higher. Also, this bit here is a bit pointless now, isn't it? We don't need this roundy roundy. But there's an extra bit there that we just don't need. We can just cut straight across there. And that makes things more efficient. I just did an efficiency thing, everybody. <laughs> Can we all be amazed now? Yay, efficiency. Um, I mean, that that isn't very efficient, but we'll, we'll gloss over that. It's all fine. So there we go. I think that might be what we do then. I think <laughs> this could work. So let's let's give it a go. Let's just have a little go, shall we? So a sedan. Let's create a similar model like that, and we'll call it the sedan... Cheap, cheap, cheapo. The sedan cheapo. Oh, I forgot the thing doesn't work. The sedan uh, cheapo. Cheapy. Cheapo. There you go. The sedan cheapo. And we will not include a lot of these things. So the things they definitely don't need. Um, they don't need a sunroof. It's just a solid roof. Yay. Um, power steering they do need. I think red must mean that it's on everybody's thing. So that's fine. So we'll have that. Right. Availability, yeah, no sat nav in this one. There's uh, there's no red leather seats. You've just got basic seats. <laughs> You've only got a basic vent. I do apologise. You've only got basic wheels. Again, I do apologise. Um, power tailgate you don't need. Right, power steering universal. Okay, leather interior. Let's keep... No, let's get rid of that. 
we'll have keyless entry, we'll have a heater, we'll have the heated wing mirrors and the folding wing mirrors, electric windows, and also cruise control. In fact, no, because that's still quite expensive. That's still... I want it to be budget, really. I want to budget right at the top end of budget. Can we do that? Yeah. Ten grand. However, if we take some of these off, take off the folding and the heated wing mirrors, and we make 10,398 off one of those. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I like that. So it's got cruise control, electric windows, a heater, which is common, keyless entry, which is very rare, but I quite like the idea of keeping it in. Or do we drop that even more? No, more profit. Makes more profit for us. Why would we do that? So it's basically got all the common things in it. It is a, an in, entirely common car, except for... Um, oh, it's got cruise control. No, no cruise control. No, turn that off. Absolutely, don't do that. It's got electric windows. It's got central locking. Oh, hang on. There's loads more up here. <laughs> I scrolled past these. Um, we've got to leave central locking on, surely. No cruise... Electric windows, yes. No cruise control. Central locking, yes. Auto steer headlights. Automatic windscreen wipers, no. None of that. Car alarm, yes. Um, automatic headlights. Turn that off as well. So 11.5 we could make off that. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So the only extra things it hasn't got that are rare or very rare are central locking and electric windows. And the rest of it is a bog standard ordinary car. Okay, and now in here... We can go through and say change the schedule, um, add the cheapo. <laughs> so make a sedan a good one and a sedan cheapo a rubbish one, 50-50. Uh, so it's 50% of the time on the sedans, 50% on the cheapos. Go, go, go. And because that's going to be now doing extra stuff, we will increase the speed. So we've got 11 minutes 13 down to 10 minutes 46. Lovely. That'll do. Right. Run time on. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm a bit I'm, I'm a bit worried about this, but I think it'll be fine. So it's making a sedan. They are still making it. Okay, we've got powered steering adjustments. Let's upgrade that. Edit models. And let's put it onto that. And probably the sports car. Although I haven't done anything with the sports car yet. But not on this one. <laughs> Yay! So apply the options. So people won't be expecting it on there. Message from the Chief Operating Officer. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Okay, power-wise, we're doing okay. We're providing a lot of our own power. But at some point, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and do this. Do all these axles. Front axles, rear axles, drive shaft, undercarriage, and fuel tank. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I know properly what one of those things does. <laughs> I know what a fuel tank does. You put fuel in it, and then it sits in there. <laughs> That's that's all I know what these do. Undercarriage, I'm going to assume, is the underneath bit of the car upon which everything else sits. So, you know, that's like the very underneath. A drive shaft looks like two... I assume that's when you turn the wheel. It, it turns the front and back wheels or something like that. And rear axles and front axles are what the wheels sit on. I believe the wheels are attached to axles. So I'm not fully sure. So really, <laughs> the only thing I know what it probably does, 100% is the fuel tank. And that's just because it holds fuel. <laughs> that is it. That That is the only thing that I know what it does. Right. Let's have a look at these. So there's two sedans in there. Why have we got any, um, have we got any cheaps coming in yet? Have we got any cheapo ones coming through? What are you? What are you? Are you a cheapo car? You are a proper sedan. Where's the cheap ones? You are a cheapo. There we go. So let's watch this one. So this should come through. The quality checking is taking so very long. So that's going to come through. Go into there. So they're trying to sell the thing. So that is, that's a cheapo. That's a budget car for 24 and a half grand. <laughs> I might have wanted to bring the prices of the cheap ones down ever so slightly. Cheapos. Bring them down a tiny bit, please. 22 grand. Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody must want to buy the cheapo. It's 22 grand. 22 grand. Uh, yeah. Okay. For some reason, our car is not selling again. It's doing this weird thing where it just goes, nah, you're not going to sell any cars currently because reasons. Okay, we did just sell one, though. That red cheapo is still not going, is it? Clear off. <laughs> Get out of my showroom. Um, there's two cheaps now. There's two cheap ones. There's three cheap ones. There's four. Oh, no. Right, hang on. No, some of them are selling. Some of them are going. But really... As long as they don't stay in there for too long, that'll be quite good, hopefully. Because hopefully they take less time. Because they don't need all the fancy schmancy things. They don't need to have, you know, extra things fitted in. So they can just go, yeah, there you go. Boom, done. They can just go in and, you know, very quickly churn those cars out. Okay, 
A loan is available from the bank. I don't think I need a loan right now. I don't think I need a loan. I think we're okay. We're not doing brilliantly. I don't know if we'll ever get to 2,000 cars, let alone 3,000 cars. But we're doing all right. I'm pretty happy with how we're doing. 578 mid-range cars sold thus far. There's quite a lot of defects coming out. Why are there so many defects? Is it because we're breaking them sort of apart? Is it because we're breaking this apart? So there's more chance of stuff going wrong because we've got more individual components doing stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's have a quick look at that. So what's in there now? Two cheapos and a regular sedan. So two sedans and two cheapos are now in there. Uh, let's click that. Um, oh, it's not got a car alarm. The sedans don't have a car alarm. Okay. Maybe that's why they're not selling. Whereabouts would... Oh, I don't know where a car alarm would go. Electronics would kind of make sense. <laughs> Where's that? I don't know where car alarm fits. Um, okay. Uh, it's not a computer. It's not electric components. It's not controls. A ca it's not cabin. Not aircon, windscreen, seats. Uh, a horn? Is that somehow linked to the car alarm? Because it makes the noise? No. <laughs> Fit light, it's not that, it's not steering wheel, it's not steering column, tires, wheels, brakes, it's not exhaust, it's not a radiator, it's not a powertrain because that's just made up and nobody knows what one of those is, um, door panels, it might be in there, car alarm, by all, is car alarms in there, are they not included, oh that possibly is a bit stupid, sedan, and a car alarm is included, Oh, I keep thinking that red up there means that that's why they're not selling. But no, it just means that it's so common. I think it just means it's a very common thing now. Car alarm is a common inclusion, as is power steering. Oh, okay, right, phew. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, let's have 15% uninstalled features. And if it lacks universal features, up it to a 30% bargain. Just try and sell them. Just volume sell. Volume, volume, volume. Okay, uh, do we now do the thing we need to do and change this? Do we do the big job and change that round? I think we might have to. Let's do it now. Let's pause time. Uh, right, get this one nearly done. So there you go. And oh, are you actually joking? I've 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 only I was just going to replace this within within the set. I was going to wait for that car to be completed. This is going to be demolished. Okay. One of your production slots has broken down and will not work until repaired. Maintenance engineers will eventually repair the slot anyway, but if you place down maintenance facilities close to a slot, it will get fixed much quicker. You can see the progress of the repair and the impact of any maintenance facilities by selecting the broken down slot. Well, I want to demolish it. Can I just knock it down? Boom. <laughs> I didn't want it anyway. Well, that was weirdly appropriate, but okay, fine. Uh, right, okay. Chassis assembly. Now, let's work backwards. So they're going to want to fit the fuel tank is here so can we even tuck that right next to that i don't like it right next to it i like a bit of a crowbar separation so fuel tank then undercarriage can go right next to that that's fine axles we've then got we need to fit the drive shaft first All right let's leave a gap i like i like a bit of a gap so we'll have a small gap there i wonder do we need two things going to the export bit? Because there's an export slot there. Is it a bad thing to have them going, maybe branching off just there and coming all the way back around here? I don't think it'd make any difference. I don't think that would make any difference. No, let's not do that. That's probably a waste of time. So we'll have the drive shaft, <laughs> whatever that does, just there. And then rear axle. And then front axle. So that's the order it needs to go in. So then we'll have rear axle. And then front axle can go right next to it. Connect those up with a conveyor in the right direction. <laughs> now I know that's a thing. Right, they're all in. And that's it. So it starts there. So they fit a front axle. Into what? I don't really understand what they're fitting a front axle into. I don't really understand what that means, but okay. Right, we'll put all that. Uh, right, this needs to be super fast. So this needs to have all the upgrades. All of them. Because this bit needs to be super speedy. Because this, this is churning out the cars. So yeah, we'll spend all the money on this that we need. I pressed a button that I didn't mean to press. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Right, and fuel tank. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
Now that can go to there. Fit body shell can have extra robots too, because that might as well. Um, yeah, okay, let's go through a little bit of upgrading. That can have some extra robots. That can have some extra robots. Everybody loves robots, unless I've made you unemployed, in which case you probably hate them. Right, uh, let's pick... No, not the vehicle, that there. Um, yeah, extra robots. Uh, that's what it's got a lot of robots. That's got lots. These have all got loads because this is where it was slow. Okay, round to here. That's got lots. That's got lots. That's got lots. That doesn't have that many. Yeah, make that quicker. Quicker wheels, please. Uh, tires. That's the vehicle. Uh, yeah, make that quicker. That's only got two more robots for this. Oh my goodness me, why are there so many with only a couple of robots? Fit them with all the robots, all the shiny things. Right, bosh. Move time on. Let's watch this. Go oh no, what's that? That's not connected to the resource conveyor. Oh, oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's probably a little bit stupid, isn't it? Right, there we go. <laughs> it's all done now. And can I bring them over the, over the worker place? Can I bring those things down over here? No, I cannot. Um, I'm just going to run a thing down there like that. Because I like the idea of it connecting up to there as well. And you know what? Let's put one across the middle. Yay! Right, okay. Right, go, go, go. Move time on really, really, really quickly indeed. Let's see if we can get lots of cars. So what do they start on then? I really don't understand. The, the robot seems to just start on an empty nothing. It's just some axles that are just on a conveyor. <laughs> just these little things. And then they fit the undercarriage, which just seems to be... Oh, no, that's the undercarriage there. So the undercarriage is the actual car bottom frame. And then the body shell is the, the shape. The car shape, essentially. And then it goes to fit hood and all that. Kind of, right, okay, okay. I think that has got every single bit in there. Apart from where we make our own stuff, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. Apart from that, we've got everything in. So we don't need to rejig the layout ever again, which is which is quite nice. Right, what are they running out of? Insufficient resources. We need more, res more things. Quicker, please. Um, door panels. Uh, that was, yeah, so how about in there, add item, door panel, so chuck a couple of those in, I don't know, five, that'd probably be useful. Um, what are we lacking in there? Seats, seats, oh that's broken down, stop breaking down, <laughs> I need a maintenance thing. Um, yeah, what was that one again? Seats, just a black seat. So how about then we go into there and we add in, uh, seat, 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 uh, is it under seat? Yeah, just there. Just regular, good old, bog-standard seats. Yes, please. Put a few of those into storage, just so we can keep them in. Um, oh, man, that's ringing out loads of resources as well. That just can't get the resources in quick enough. Look at it. What's that? A little computer of some sort. Can we add them in as well? A chip. <laughs> can we have some chips in there, please? Yeah, just chuck a load of chips in. Fire them all in. Yep, anytime you like. Yep, there they go. Oh, they go straight in and straight out again. My goodness me. Yeah, okay, maybe we need a few more resource stockpile things. Uh, right, come out of that, come out of that. What is going on? Let's just come out of that as well. Let's have a little nosy at how things are going. I think that's quite efficient now in terms of what we can do. So we've got 500 to 820 cars. We can, uh, we can get to 1,000. That will be fantabulous. We can get to 1,000. Surely we can get there. So they obviously repaired the broken thing, whichever one of those was broken. Right, and we are nearly at... Q&A specialization. Ah, so this will change this. Okay, so now we've got vision inspection, performance check, and an emissions check. And we're going to research fixing defects. Okay. Now, is that something where we could use the smart thingamajig? I don't think it is, is it? Or is it? The smart thing did have an option in there, didn't it, for, for moving things over? Hang on. Conveyor. Smart junction. Oh, can you not tell me what it does? <laughs> can you give me a hint. Didn't the smart junction have the option to send something if it was had a defect? So if it was broken, if it was had a defect, we could send it to the repair station. But if it's not, we don't have to. I think that might be quite a good idea. We could do with selling some cars, kind of right now, I, I think, <laughs> if I'm completely honest. I think we need to sell some stuff very, very quickly and very soon. But nothing in the showroom. Can we just churn out more cars, please? <laughs> more things. Faster. Much faster. Okay. Once that car comes out, I think... I think... Quality checking. 18, 17, and 12. So what's that? 18 plus 12 is... Uh, uh, 30. Yeah. 
So 47, so we need about 47 grand. I think now that is perfect. Why is it, why are they slow along there? What, can, what are you doing? Why are you not fast? Extra robots, more robots. Buy more robots for you. Um, yeah, and oh, I'm tempted to buy big robots for everybody. All the robots for all the people. Uh, no, right, let's do quality check. Let's remove you so you can go away. Boom. And we'll get rid of some of these as well. So we've got some money back off that. Actually. That's not so bad. So it's going to come round and say visual inspection. Right. Boom. Yes, please. Performance check. Boom. And emissions check. Bop. Conveyors back that way because con <laughs> conveyors go in a direction, everybody. Right. Upgrades. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. That's just three bits. But I guess it's quicker having them in three components. And then... When we get this, I think we can definitely use our smart thing to ping off defect cars to this to get them reworked. I think that's what they can do. Why have we got cars with so many defects? Build some decent cars. We could do with selling some cars very urgently. We seem to be running out of money <laughs> very quickly indeed. Oh, I don't like it. 21, 20 grand. Ah, lots of red lights. A new loan is available from the bank. Yeah, we we need to we're living we're living from selling each car. Um we had quite a lot of money at one point, didn't we? <laughs> Remember when we had all that money? That was lovely. Right, okay, we'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. If we can keep making cars without defects, that would be great because the defected cars means that we have to sell them cheaper. But they are churning through a nice steady supply of cars. We're back up to 150 grand and we've got some in storage as well. <laughs> that was a little bit touch and go. I didn't like that. That's made me sweaty and nervous. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, what? Hang on. What's the problem now? We've got about 12 bazillion cars all queued up back here. Holy moly's. Okay. Right. There is a problem here then. So the problem is this. The painting bit. It's always the painting. It's always the painting. It's three minutes. Now, how long does this undercoat take? Nine minutes that takes. That's nine. That's three. And that's 10 minutes, but that branches off. We need to do something about this, don't we? This bit here needs to be done. But we don't have enough money right now, I don't think, for me to not get all those cars in. I think what I'll do is... Why are things all of a sudden breaking down? Stop breaking down. Right, we need maintenance people. Where were they? <laughs> Where were the maintenance people? I saw them somewhere down here. There was maintenance somewhere along here. Right, maintenance departments... Oh, requires factory expansion. Uh, yeah, research it now. We could do with maintenance now because everything keeps breaking down all of a sudden. So what we need to do is another broken down thing. For goodness sake. <laughs> um, when we get, I'd be quite happy with 300 grand. When we get 300 grand, I think we'll do a branching out thing around here. We might rework this whole bit. This whole bit is a bit of a mishmash of, of a mess now. It's all gone a bit wibbly around here. So we could do with... Replacing all of these bits. So I'm just going to sit back. I've got tea. So I'll sit back. We'll wait till we're at 300 grand if we ever get there. Because we've got a few cars in storage. And when we're at 300 grand, we will rework the painting section again. Because <laughs> we've done it a few times. And we shall make it as super efficient as it can be with multiple paths and such like going through it. Just to stop this bottlenecking happening just here. Oh, we're on 300. We're on 400 grand. Uh, well, do you know what? I'm going to pause it. I'm going to have a drink anyway. And we'll come back after I've had a lovely drink. Okay, we might have to sacrifice a car. We might have to lose this car just here. So farewell car. We barely knew ye. That car can go through and out. And go through there. So we need to basically get rid of the two cars that are in the queue at the moment. So they can go through to there. So that can go that way. We off you go. Round that way. Lovely, lovely. You can clear off as well. Right, pause. All this needs doing. All this needs reworking because it is a shambles. Um, so let's get rid of all these. And we will get money back for these as well, obviously, which is quite welcome. So I'll have, have all of these obliterated, which should give us quite a bit of the money back. So it's not quite so damaging. <laughs> so, yeah, all that effort we went into to put these in didn't really make any difference, did it? So we'll get rid of all this. So the first thing we need to do is we've got to do the paint, paint, paint. So paint undercoat is still there ah no right hang on paint undercoat doesn't take that long does it paint undercoat is here but it's only three minutes 35 unless we sacrifice a few more cars and get rid of paint undercoat and then split the whole painting process into two 
That might be the best thing we do. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Can we let's have it coming out here? Oh, yes. Let's do that. So paint undercoat there. And also paint undercoat there. Like that. Hang on. Will this work? Will this work? Yeah, I think it might work. Have that coming down there and into there. So now they'll either go, the cars will come in and either go into there or into here. Okay, that makes sense. We'll get rid of that. Another car is gone, but never mind. I'm sure we can cope. Right, dry undercoat. Put that in there. Yeah, that's the next one, isn't it? I'm a bit, I'm a bit wary of this. <laughs> and a dry undercoat thing there. Okay. Paint finish. And we can't put that there, unfortunately, because one of the stockpile things is uh, just there from whatever that thing is. Fitting windows. That's sort of in the way. So paint finish can go there and there. And we'll connect those up with a conveyor like that. And then we've got the dry finish, which we'll put right in front of that one. No, let's give it a bit of, let's give it a bit of room, a bit of breathing room, a bit of wriggle room. Okay. And then we can do the conveyor to there and the conveyor to there. All this conveyor belt is now utterly redundant. So they don't need to do this big long tour around the side because that's just pointless. We can get rid of all this. Oh, this is, this is, this might work. This might actually work. <laughs> and then they can just go along like that to there. That can join up to that one and that can go out to there. Holy moly's okay right we need to give it all of the shiniest best things you've got upgrades all of them buy all of the yes upgrade all the slots pretty sort of control yeah do that as well all of the things okay if i just put two of the same thing oh no hang on what paint hang on oh, they look the same to me they look the same paint finish <laughs> looks the same as that what have i missed out that's dry finish. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done wrong? <laughs> that is paint undercoat. That is dry undercoat. Is it paint undercoat? Dry undercoat. Paint finish. It's just they look the same. The units look the same. So I've, I've had a, a minor panic. I'm fine now. <laughs> Whew, I thought that had all gone horribly wrong. Okay, right. Upgrades. Um, yeah, you'll buy all. Yeah, all, all of the slots for everything. Yes, yes. All of the best things, please. Paint finish is done and that thing should be upgraded to the max right okay okay right this should now make things a lot quicker no it's not connected to the conveyors <laughs> um hang on right put one there to finish that off uh and then just come straight down the middle like that right go 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 make make cars painted make cars paint again right so this should be twice as quick because now there's twice as many things doing the painting so when we come out of here we should see a lot more cars churning through. More defected cars, but that's fine. We can deal with that. At least we're selling them for cheap. Um, I still want to get the marketing department in. So, right, what I think is, what are we researching? Factory expansion. Ah, yes, to get the maintenance people in because now we're getting breakdowns in. It's getting a little bit tedious. So we could do with some maintenance departments. At some point, we're going to want to buy one of these. But I am going to wait... I'm going to wait for us to get quite a bit of money. In fact, right, let's sit back. Let's wait for factory expansion to be done. And then after factory expansion is done, we're going to get rework done. So we'll sit back unless something utterly ridiculous happens or I've noticed some glaring error. Um, I'll wait until the reworking thing is done and we'll come back when that's finished and see what we can do with that. There you go. So factory expansion is done. So now they're going to do fixing vehicle defect. Do we want them to do that, actually? Um... No, we really want maintenance departments in. Research that now, and then do the defects thing. Right, we'll come back. Complete change of plan for what was on about. <laughs> All over the place this time around. There we go. Um, So let's come back when maintenance departments are done. Because, yeah, we're seeing a lot of this broken down stuff. So, yes, let's get some maintenance people in. I just noticed something on our sedan. Unresearched features in car music is now common. So maybe that is why... We're struggling to sell our vehicles. Do you know what? That needs sorting out, doesn't it? In-car music. Uh, where is that? I don't think we've even got the um, the entertainment stuff done, have we? No, yeah, look at that. It's all over it. Uh, right, research that now. Add that to the queue. And we'll push that up. I think that's probably more important right now. Because we are really struggling. Again, the money kind of comes and goes. It's very weird. Like, at one point, we were doing really well. And now... 
We're on 20 grand, 19 grand, 16 grand. It's sort of plummeting and coming down again. It's very, very odd. So we've got a sedan, mid rent, two sedan. We need to sell one of those cars kind of right now, please. Or else this game is going to be over very soon. <laughs> right, hang on. <laughs> We might to bring the cost of the cars down the tiniest bit. Let's put, let's put it at 40 grand for the mid-range. The cheapo can come down a tiny bit more. The cheapo can be 20 grand. The premium can be 40 grand. Pl please, somebody buy our cars. Oh, good. <laughs> somebody bought something. Hurrah. Oh, this, that's bad. That was bad. That thing down there broke down. Business failure. Oh, we can accept a crisis loan. Oh, thank goodness for that. Yeah, look at that. At one point, we were doing really, really well with income. Oh, that's expenses. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, ignore that. Um, but yeah, that must have been when we were reworking stuff, though. So yeah, so we need to take out the loan for... That's quite a lot of money. That's an awful lot of money. Interest rate of 10%. Good grief. Um, okay, we'll accept the loan. We've got 2.3 million pounds, <laughs> dollars, whatever. Wow. Look at the amount of different affected cars coming through what on earth is going on but yeah that thing down there did not help did it that was not a particularly helpful thing okay uh, that's broken down okay but we do need to get music in because people are not going to buy our cars without music in okay keep going let's get in car music researched okay in car music is done let us upgrade that slot and edit models it can go on everything because i think it's such a common thing we need to put it on all of the cars okay hopefully that should encourage people to buy them again that should be a nice thing that people will think, oh, yay, good. Right, so these have got, these have got uninstalled features because obviously they've gone past the point of fitting that stuff. But it shouldn't be too far off, actually. Surely it's one of these things. Look at it now. There's a big queue. I was taking a nosy at this. We're on 922 cars. We can get to 1,000 almost. <laughs> that would be great. I don't think we can get any closer than that, but uh, any closer to 3,000. We're not going to get to 3,000, I don't think. But we've nearly completed one of the goals. That'd be great if we could get that done. That would be lovely. And then it gets to the point where, because we're doing a scenario, we're not doing this to make the factory super effective. We're trying to complete these goals. So we go, okay, 750 mid-range cars, done. Now, I imagine if they go to a slot, if they go to fit door panels, and they have to do stuff with the door panels, if they have to go, right, oh, yeah, we need to do this, that, and the other, I guess that it takes more time. So if we then say, all right, well, we only want to produce the cheap cars now. We sell the expensive cars, so we create our sports car that's a nice and expensive and makes a lot of money. And then we sell the cheap cars that just fly through the thing very, very quickly and don't require a load of extra parts. I think that's what we do. So we drop the mid-range thing entirely and just go for budget. We just go for budget cars. I think that's what we might do, mix things up. That is generally bad. Why are there 10? I, don't, I really don't understand. I don't understand. Right, we've got maintenance departments in, right? Go back to doing that. I don't get why there will be so many cars sitting there in the thing. It's not like they're awful cars. They've got all of the things that people would expect. They've got everything in. I don't know why all of a sudden people are just going to go, mm, not buying them now. <laughs> nah. And they'll all go at some point soon. Okay, maintenance departments. Let's take a look at how this works. So we've got ourselves maintenance folks. So they, ah, so they're like one of the little grid, the, the little storage things, and they cover a certain area. Okay, how can we make you the most effective you can be? Um, well, we can only fit one down there, annoyingly enough. So let's put one in just there. Placing down a maintenance facility will ensure that any broken down slots get fixed much faster. Good. Selecting any maintenance facility will show the blue overlay. Yeah, click on a maintenance facility. will also show you how many slots are currently broken down. Hopefully not that many. I didn't check how much they were. 98 grand. Ouch. So, yeah, this doesn't cover down here, does it? And that's a little bit irritating. Um, okay, we'll have to put one there. And then another maintenance thing up here. Um, there we'll do for now. Yay, right. Three maintenance people are in. And we're really struggling to sell any form of cars all of a sudden for some inexplicable reason. And can we please stop making cars that are rubbish? <laughs> stop it with the defective cars. Just make them properly, for goodness sake. Right. I think now might be the time for... Okay, okay, right. A couple of things. A couple of things. Power plant. Let's get a couple more of those in because we're only making 80% of the power because I suppose we've got more slots that we use now. So let's put that down. 100%, 98%. Yeah, all right, I'm happy with that. that ooh, do you know what? No, we'll put another one down. We Right, so we won't pay any electric bills, which is quite nice. That's good. Um, right, I was going to do something 
else? What was I going to do? I'm sure I was going to do something really important. Oh, I can't remember what I was going to do. I'm sure I was going to do something that was really, really important. And it just entirely slipped my mind. I don't know what I was going to do. However, we now do have our fixing defects reworking kind of station thing in, which could be very, very useful. So yeah, that is what we're doing now. Enhanced inspection as well. So we're kind of focusing on the last bit. We're focusing on the quality checking. Um, I think, I think for now, let's pause time. Let's call it a day because whatever I was going to do hasn't sprung to mind. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to do. I had an idea and then I thought, oh, power plants. And then I completely forgot what my actual idea was. But I think everything's looking okay. We've not got kind of as much of this as I would like. 957 cars. Do you know what? Do you know what? No. I'm going to move it. I want to sell a thousand cars. When we're sold a thousand cars, we will come back and then we'll finish this part. I want that to go to a thousand, please. Oh my goodness, I'd entirely forgotten that we were <laughs> we were researching golden wheels. Okay, well, let's do the upgrade for that. <laughs> I completely forgotten. Um, okay, now uh, what are we doing for that? Um, edit models. Do we put it on our sports car? Golden wheels? I don't know. <laughs> I think I think let's just leave it for now. Let's just leave that for now. Um, but okay, right. So these guys are going to want some more research. The car designs folks are going to want some more stuff. Now, now, do we create something else? Do we move away from our sedan? Because they're probably quite boring. Let's go for something like an SUV body. Why don't we do that and get a, oh, a pickup? A pickup. They're popular, aren't they? How about that? Get an SUV. Yeah, research that now, please. Get an SUV done. That might be worth doing. Um, I've had to drop the price of the cars as well. What are we on now? 970. Oh, we're nearly at 750 for this. So, you know, we might meet one of our goals, which would be fantastic. Oh, and a big spender as well. I've spent over 300k an hour for six consecutive hours. Yeah, that's because I've been redeveloping stuff. Yay, <laughs> go me. Oh, what an achievement. Middle of the road output. Hooray, hooray for absolute mediocrity. So we've produced 100 cars in 10 hours during a single game. Well, that's got to be a good thing. I was just checking if we could pay back a bit of that loan because we don't need 1.6 million, I don't think. But I was trying to see if we could bring down our um, sort of hourly cost because hourly capital repayment, we're paying back quite a lot per hour. But um, no, we can't do anything with it at the minute. So yeah, I think we might need to get that new vehicle in. Maybe sedans are no longer what people want. <laughs> we can think that maybe, maybe sedans are what, uh, well, yeah, they're out They're out of fashion now. Maybe we need to get ourselves like pickups and things like that. So um, yeah, we might need to, um, might to switch things around a bit. Right, let's just go back to waiting. Oh, hang on. We have sold a thousand cars in our, in our factory. Uh, uh, that's good. I'm taking that. I'm absolutely taking that and I am going to run with it. Um, apart from it says 999 on there. Are you fibbing? Yeah, there we go. Right, pause time. And we've sold 771 mid-range cars. We've got one of the scenario goals completed. A <laughs> long last. Now, what are we on? Day eight. We're only on day eight and we're on a thousand. We might be all right, you know. We might be okay. Double that would be 2,000. But I mean, we were very slow to start with. Now we've picked up the pace a great deal. So I think well, we might we might be okay. We're a third of the way there. We've completed this. Expensive cars will come. That'll be on its when we get the sports cars in. So yeah, maybe, maybe it's achievable. Yeah, the dream isn't dead quite yet. But okay, right. That is a perfect point to leave it there. We've actually achieved two things. A thousand cars and we've completed one of the goals. I think let's just leave it there while we're on a high before it all comes crashing down and goes horribly, horribly wrong. Because, you know, at some point, Something's just going to fall apart, isn't it? Something is going to go all very stupidly wrong. But for now, we're doing very well. Hopefully, you are still enjoying this. I'm I'm surprised with this game. I'm having a lovely time with it. I hope you're enjoying watching it. If you are, then please do leave a like. And also, please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in production line. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Wuffles. Wuffles McBark. Behold the power of the blimp.